Meme Funko Pops. So let's get started. Now, I talked about wanting to do a video with Meme Funko Pops a couple days ago, and a lot of you guys seem to be really excited about it. So I scoured the internet trying to find every single Meme Funko Pop I possibly could, and I have a good amount of them. Actually, looking at my list here, I only don't have two of them. One of them I could purchase right away, and the other one just hasn't released yet, so we're pretty close to completing the set. And if you guys are curious as to which ones I'm missing, it is the John Cena, but not the normal one, the Amazon exclusive where he's clear. And I don't know if you can 100% consider that figure a meme, but the clear part really does play into it, so I'm gonna count it. And now the other figure that I don't have in the collection, but I did pre-order already, so it will be coming in eventually, is the Homer in Hedges. And that one's actually the reason why I wanted to do this video, because I then realized how many memes Funko has made, and it'd be fun to put them all in one big video. And the reason that I think Funko started to do meme figures was because of a another company tapping into the market before they did. And I think you guys know what company I'm talking about. That's right, U2s. And if you guys are unaware, U2s actually started off by making YouTuber as well as meme figures, and they've made a plethora of really funny ones. And more recently, they have started to do licensed figures, and they don't just do the normal character, they do the meme version of it, which kind of sets them apart from other companies. And I think after a little while, Funko started to notice the demand in meme figures, so they decided to create their own. Oh, and actually, on the topic of U2s, one of the co-founders of YouTube is giving away the prototype from their first figure ever. It's dead meme, and the prototype is pretty rough, but that is some U2's history, and if you guys want to have it in your collection, I will have the giveaway linked in the description down below if you guys want to check it out. And so now, I guess let's start with the first one that I have in person, which is the only at Target exclusive, Baby Nut. And now this one here is a bit of a newer meme. It actually happened in the Super Bowl a couple years ago where they killed off Mr. Peanut. And a lot of people were really sad about it until the Super Bowl when Baby Nut was born. And if I'm gonna be honest, this wasn't really a long-lived meme, but I do think it was a pretty funny one for Funko to create because there was a lot of people joking about Baby Nut when it first happened with the commercials, but now you don't really hear much about them. And now the next meme that we've got here is the Spider-Man vs. Spider-Man 2 pack. This one also came out a couple years ago, very similar to Baby Nut. It actually might have been 2020 as well. Let me see what it says on the bottom here. Yeah, 2020. And you know what, now that I'm looking at the rest of the characters that I've got here, it seems like they really started to ramp up their meme production in 2020, which I am not complaining about. But I digress. And taking a bit of a closer look at Spider-Man versus Spider-Man, they aren't the exact same character because their bodies are mirrored. And from the looks of it, it seems like their heads are exactly the same, which I'm not gonna complain about because they are literally the exact same Spider-Man man pointing at each other. Also, if you flip the box around to the back, you can actually see the exact photo from the 60s animated series. I think it's pretty neat that they added that. And when this meme had first got popular, I thought it was somebody editing a second Spider-Man into the photo, and there was like maybe a villain on the other side he was chasing, but no, it was literally Spider-Man pointing at Spider-Man. And now let's get into this next one that I've got here, which is Arthur. And now I wasn't actually gonna put Arthur in the video until I found this tweet from Funko where they use the character as the meme, and I was like, you know what, that's perfect, I gotta throw it in. Because for a long time, there was a meme of Arthur where he actually had a clenched fist because he was super angry, and that's what the photo was, just his fist. And then Funko had actually taken the glam shot and cropped it to be just the fist, and when you look at it, it is a clenched fist. Even though his other one is waving, that little bit of him still works for the meme. And so that's why I wanna talk about it today, because it's it's not the entire figure that's angry, but just that little bit. And now let's get into one of my favorites in this set. We've got Grumpy Cat. And when I saw that Funko was coming out with this one, I thought they were definitely going to be making a brand new meme category, but apparently they're just throwing them into the icons line now, which I'm not complaining about, but I mean, Grumpy Cat and Abraham Lincoln in the same line, it's a bit weird. Also, if you take a look at the back of the box, there was an actual photo of Grumpy Cat, and something else that I found really cool about this is that when you open up the flaps, they have little quotes on the inside. Very similar to how the meme was. It was literally just the photo of Grumpy Cat with this kind of bold text at the top, and this one here says, I had fun once, it was awful. And that's not all because there's also one on the bottom that literally just says no. It's pretty funny. Oh, and there wasn't just one version of Grumpy Cat. There was actually a second one too made a little bit later on where Grumpy Cat was flocked. And I had to get both. And when you take a look at these two a little bit closer up, there is nothing different about the boxes besides the sticker. So if I were to recommend one, it'd probably be the flocked version because it's a cat. 
fluffy. And now the next one that I wanted to talk about here was Imagination SpongeBob SquarePants. And I do realize that almost all of these SpongeBob Funko Pops could have been memes, but this one was the most prominent, so that's the one we're gonna talk about. And this one here was literally just SpongeBob going imagination over top, and they would be different quotes put above him, very similar to Grumpy Cat. This one just doesn't have it on the flap on the inside. And I think that this one is a pretty well done figure, especially the way they did the rainbow and how it's clear all the way through, it's pretty nice. Oh, and very similar to Grumpy Cat, this one also has a couple different versions. The Diamond Edition one, where he's completely glittered, as well as the Pride version, which, I mean, makes sense. And so all three of these together, I guess, make up the Imagination Collection. And they are some pretty nice figures, and I know that they're the exact same sculpt every time, but I'm trying to get every single SpongeBob one, so I had to grab them. Plus, I'm also trying to complete my meme collection, so double jeopardy. And actually, now that I think about it, I remember last time I checked the Diamond Collection version was like $150. I gotta check that. Oh, no, wow, okay, I just checked, and it is now worth $30. Did they re-release it or something? And now, everybody, we've got one more meme for today. This is Fine Dog. And I think out of all of the different meme Funko Pops so far, this one might have to be my favorite just because it looks really good translated into a Funko Pop. And the box is even really well done because it's got the fire going all the way around it. And then even on the side here, it's got him just burning in the middle of the room. The only thing that I wish is a little bit different about this one is that they made the flames 3D. But other than that, it looks really great. Oh, and something that I really like about this figure, and I just thought about it now, is that even if you take it out of the box, it still has the this is fine quote on the mug. And well, guys, there you go. That is every single meme Funko Pop. And let me know in the comment section below if there's any other ones that you think I should have put in this video. Because I really dug around to see if I could find every single meme figure, but I'm sure I missed something or maybe there's a character that also has a meme that goes along with it, so let me know what you guys think. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that, but this has been an episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Big deal like TJ Maxx, bought some cataracts, watching Naughty Tech, Nick Cage, how I